What's going on guys? Welcome to another Pokemon Showdown theme team video. Today we are doing a full utilizing berries theme team. So as you can see in front of me, we have got the team. Let's run through that very quickly before we get into the battles. We have an apple turn with an apicot berry, which raises your special defense by one stage. Um, we have given it recover, curse, leech seed and seed bomb, max special defense, max HP. This is going to be our sort of bulky, stally Pokemon leech seed and curse to stay healthy and then gluttony so that we get the berry at half health instead of a quarter health. Next we have Greedent with a Ganlon berry which raises your defense. We have given it cheek pouch so it gets one third of its health back when it eats a berry. Then we've got stuffed cheeks, body slam, stockpile and body press. This Pokemon is actually really good and I haven't chosen the nature for it which is bad. So let's quickly give that plus, def uh, yeah, plus defense because we're going to be using body press for most of our, most of our damage there. Next we've got Linoon, which has a Salak Berry to up its speed. And we've got Gluttony, Belly Drum, Body Slam, Extreme Speed, and Play Rough. Basically the premise for this set, Belly Drum down, get the Salak Berry boost, and then sweep with Play Rough, Body Slam, and Extreme Speed. It's a pretty straightforward set. Next we have Heat More. We wanted to have a special attacker on the team. Um, we didn't have one because most of, the, uh, most of the Berry users are all physical. So we have a Salak Berry once again to raise the speed. Substitute to get down to the Salak Berry, and then Flamethrower. Belch, which is really good, uh, 120 power, poison type move, but you have to eat the berry first, and then Giga Drain to hit those water types. Next we've got Diggersby, uh, which is a different Diggersby set, it's not a huge power Diggersby set. Um, we have gone for an Aguav berry to heal up, Cheek Pouch, Recycle, Earthquake, Substitute, Toxic, is more of a stally set um, than the huge powers that You basically substitute, recycle, heal up, toxic them. Toxic stall sub recycle set. It's uh, it's actually worked pretty well in the testing. And finally, we have Dedene with an Aguav Berry and Cheek Pouch again with max HP, max speed. That is the team. Uh, let's get into the battles. All right, here we go. We are taking this into Nat Dex AG. They have a pretty a pretty decent team there. I'm guessing they're going to be leading with Galvantula, so we're going to lead Diggersby because um, they're yeah they're probably going to try and set up. Um, rocks and stuff so Garvantula is pretty speedy so he's probably going to be able to get uh, a move off yeah they've gone for toxic we're going to go for earthquake i think we just go for another earthquake here yeah they've gone for sticky webs we haven't got anything to get rid of the hazards unfortunately we're going to go for the final um final earthquake there try and take that Galvantula out yeah they they were sacking their Galvantula. they couldn't actually hit us they usually carry electro web and volt switch i think so all right, who have they got? The Ditto is going to cause some problems to us, I think. Okay, so they're going to go for a no retreat. So I'm going to Toxic here. They're going to try and boost themselves up. Oh, they've just straight gone for close combat. Okay. I thought they were going to try and set up expecting the switch. Um, do we want... Who do we want to come in against this? I think Appleton is probably the best switch in here. We're going to Leech Seed it. Because if it does go no retreat... Yeah, there we go. So Leech Seed is now like just going to take it out. And it can't switch. Um, so we can pretty much set up on this thing. So we are quite weak to fighting, which is kind of annoying. So I can switch into the Dene here. Oh, Poison Jab takes us out in one hit. That's unfortunate. I think Greedent might be a good, uh, a good shout here. We can go for Stuff Cheeks because we're going to be slower. So we'll go for Stuff Cheeks. He's going to go close combat or Throat Chop. Okay. So that boosts our defense by quite a bit right there. And we're going to have the Leech Seed. Uh, we're going to just go for Stockpile. We're going to try and set up against them here. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, actually survive. Although we do have the Leech Seed recovery. So we'll go for one more Stockpile. Maybe two more Stockpiles depending on how much these close combats do. Because we can probably take that out in one hit. We just need to make sure that we don't just instantly lose to whoever comes in next. I think we body press here. Alright, let's see how much this does. Hopefully it does a decent amount. There we go. We got a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered. But we are... Look how bulky we are, man. 1,109 defense. And that's going to be Scarf. Yeah, this is, what I, this is what I was worried about, man. The Ditto. 
the ditto is uh, is a problem. All right, we're gonna go into Appleton. I think we just lose to the ditto is the problem. Let's leech seed it. Uh, what do we do here? He's gonna go for an ice move almost certainly, unless he predicts us to go into Heatmore. But I think Heatmore just takes so much damage from the uh, from the ice move anyway, because he's not particularly bulky. Oh, we did predict the switch. Oh, it's Zenmo Damanitan. That is interesting. We're gonna sub here. <clears throat> and we get the Salak Berry. We're still not faster because obviously the sticky webs kind of ruined that for us. But we can go for Flamethrower. Break their sub. How much did the Fire Punch do? The Fire Punch did 35%. Oh, they've got a Salak Berry too. Oh, these are interesting sets, man. Interesting sets. All right, there we go. Gal Galar Damanitan is down. Uh, yeah, the Ditto is going to cause problems to for us for sure because he's going to wait until we bring in our Linoon and going to try and copy the uh, copy the stats. All right, are we faster? No, they're faster. Um, I think we just try and flamethrower. Try and get as much damage off as possible. Oh, we got the burn. That's really important. I think they're still going to take us out with a gunk shot unless they try and set up toxic spikes again. Oh, they just explode. Okay. That's fine too. Um, and then, so they have contrary Malama and a ditto left. I think we go Appleton. And I think we just leech seed. Luckily, it's not Toxic Poison. Ooh, that's a crit. That's not good. <clears throat> Alright, so... I think we just recover here. We just try and stall this out. I don't think Lanoon can take it. Alright. Yeah, but Contrary Malamar is really strong. I'm not sure that we can actually beat this, unfortunately. I think this is game one done. We can try a play rough and see how it does, but yeah, Superpower just takes us out. GG, let's move on to game number two. All right, here we go, game number two. We have an interesting team here. Is it full normal type? It's almost full normal type, apart from Barrascuda. Um, so our Greedent with Body Press is gonna do work here. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Appleton because nobody there is good against Appleton. But Appleton can't really do much. Okay, actually, uh, Northern Lapwing is uh, is good against Appleton with the Brave Bird, possibly. So, to tank that, I think... I think Appleton can probably tank it, to be honest. Let's go for a Leech Seed. They go for Brave Bird. It can't tank it, of course. That's unfortunate. I thought maybe he could take one Brave Bird. I think we go to Dedene... And we go, I think we just go Volt Switch. I don't think he's going to stay in. So, oh, he did stay in. And he died to the Volt Switch. Um, all right, let's go Heatmore here. They're going to bring in their Barrascuda, of course. So, again, we've uh, not really got much for Barrascuda, apart from Dedene. Appleton is gone now, unfortunately. That's my fault. I don't want to go straight into Dedene. Although, we've got the Cheek Pouch heal, I suppose. Ah, tanks it like a boss. Let's nuzzle on the switch. Presumably he's going to switch here. Nuzzle on the switch, paralyze whatever comes in. Oh, he's just Dynamaxing. Going for Max Ooze, and it takes us out. That is unfortunate. Um... Now I don't know what we do. Now I think we're a little bit screwed here. I think we've got to go into Greed and might be the only person who can tank these. Definitely slower, so we go for the Stuff Cheeks. And get fully healed. Or almost fully healed at least. And then I think we stockpile. We're going to have to start to set up here. Oh, damn, that did a lot of damage. And we just die next turn. I wasn't expecting it to do that much, man. Alright, this is going to be game number two, I think. I don't think we can pull it back here, because Diggersby is weak to this guy as well. 
Oh, he managed to live. And we get the big heal off those berries. So we get the toxic off. The next hydro pump does kill us, though, unfortunately. Even, even Dynamax, I think it kills us. Yeah. Alright, uh, I guess we have to go Linoon. And... What do we even do? We're not faster. Do we just go extreme speed? We might just have to go extreme speed. Yeah, we nearly killed it with the extreme speed, man. Alright, so extreme speed takes it out. I don't think Linoon can take on this entire team by itself. Dynamax. Max Strike, maybe? Nah, not quite. It was close, though. It was close. High Jump Kick is definitely going to take us out. If they'd have missed there, maybe we had a chance, but... Uh, do we sub? That Lopany is definitely faster than us, so we don't sub. Oh, it's just gone for Thunderbolt. We might be able to, uh, to pull this back here. Because if the double has... Alright, so... Oh, Earthquake takes us out. Rip! Alright, GG, that is game number two. Let's move on to the third and final game. Alright, here we go. Game number three. We have what looks to be three Eviolite users here. And three OU... Uh, well, I'm guessing this is Mega Kangaskhan. Um, okay, so who are we going to lead here? We haven't got anyone with knockoff, so those Eviolite -like people are going to be tough. Um, I think we go Diggersby first. If they lead with Ferrothorn. Okay, they lead with Toxapex. Okay, so we can't actually do anything to Toxapex with this set. I don't want to switch into Dedene. Don't want to switch into anyone here. We haven't really got an answer for Toxapex. Do we just Earthquake see how much damage it does? 32%. And it's got leftovers. So this is like a 4 hit KO. I don't think we're going to survive for 4 hits. If it's got Scald, it probably takes us out faster than we can take it out, unfortunately. Unless we get a crit, you know? It's actually a 5 hit KO. And they've got 2 layers of Toxic Spikes. And it's got Recover. Of course it has Recover. Toxipex kind of walls us, huh? Okay, so it's going to go Scald here. Does it, run, does it usually run a poison move? I think it usually does. Oh, we got the burn on the Diggersby. That's unfortunate. Alright, Digger's B is down. That's really bad. We could have used the uh, Toxics on all the other Pokemon. I guess we can swap out now. It's going to go for Scald, so do we just go into Appleton? I hate that they managed to get two layers of Toxic Spikes up and we have nothing for it. Alright, now we Leech Seed. Oh, Leech Seed onto the Kangaskhan, okay. That's fine. Um, curse? Mega Kangaskhan? Yeah, fake out, of course. Okay, they get more toxic damage off. What are they going to go for? Body Slam, maybe? I don't know what Kangaskhan runs, to be honest. Oh, Mud Slap. But it hits twice, so the accuracy goes down twice. Oh, that's good. Uh, Alright, let's recover. Okay, our accuracy is going down to shit. I think we do have to swap here, unfortunately. Because the toxic is racking up. Um, let's go into Diggersby. Because Diggersby can't get poisoned. 
but it also can't do much. We can toxic him though. We haven't revealed anything other than earthquake, so are they? Were they? How can they possibly be expecting the toxic? Diggersby doesn't normally learn toxic. Oh, this is frustrating. They're going to go into Kangaskhan again. Yep. They're going to Kangaskhan on the Leech Seed. I think we just Seed Bomb. Yeah, they go Fake Out. Fake Out is really good on Mega Kangaskhan. And then they've got to have some move that's better than Mud Slap, right? Well, that did nothing. I think we Leech Seed the Chansey. Oh, it's faster than us. Okay. All right, what do we got against Chansey? Very little. This this match is not going well. Um, the Toxic Spikes kind of ruin us, and the burn on the Diggersby is not good. Substitute, recycle. Alright, now we can switch into... Let's switch into Dedene. I don't want to, like, ah, it's so annoying that we've got nothing to take out the spikes. Question is, are they going to switch here? And if so, who do they switch into? They haven't got anyone to resist. Let's just nuzzle. Alright, Toxapex is paralyzed. Nice, that's good, that's good. Now we... Oh, we can actually get rid of the poison on the dead NA. I forgot about that. Because we have rest. Now we switch into who? Switch into Greedent. Greedent really doesn't like the... Uh, the Toxic Spikes. Because it likes to set up. But what we can do is stuff cheeks, and then and then go straight for the body press here, because <clears throat> we raise our defense by three stages by doing that, which is really good. And then we can go for body press, which is super effective on the Ferrothorn, and we two shot it, which is nice. Though they probably switch here, I imagine. I don't think they want their Ferrothorn to go out straight away. Yeah, they're going to Corsola, who is immune. Should have seen that coming. Um, Greedon is pretty much dead, but not totally dead. Let's switch into dead NA. What's it going to go for? Stealth Rocks, more energy. Okay, so now, now Greedon is actually dead. So let's rest up. Get rid of this toxic. And sleep talk. Let's hope we get nuzzle. Oh, we got vault switch. Not great. Um, so I think we go Diggersby. And they're going to go into Toxapex. I feel like they're going to go into Toxapex every time because they're just expecting the Toxic. Oh, they go to Ferrothorn. Okay. Yeah, either of those two work, I guess. What's what's Ferrothorn going to do? Oh, Leech Seed. Yeah, that works. Ah, oh, this is not going well, you know? Not going well. Look at all those entry hazards that they've got up as well. Um, let's go into heat more. Maybe we can get a sub on the swap. Oh, look at all that damage that we take on the switch, man. 
So not good. Well, that really didn't do much, did it? Do we just try? I don't even know what we try here, man. This game is is basically over. We got walled by uh, a pretty good team, let's be fair. Let's go dead NA, I guess. And we'll go sleep talk. Into let's go into Greedent just to see what they do because Greedent's gonna die on entry. Yeah, and they were gonna go for the gold. Nice, I like that. All right, so Vault Switch, I suppose. I was hoping for a crit there, hoping that we could take something out. Lanoon is useless. Can't do anything without the belly drum. We could get the belly drum off here, but it's unlikely. Play rough is not very effective. Maybe we just go for body slam. Oh, that does nothing. It does nothing. This has not been a good team team. This team team has not, uh, not performed very well at all. We go for body slam. We're faster than it anyway. If they go into Corsola, that's unfortunate, but. Yeah, we're playing against someone who's got a good team and plays it relatively well, so. I don't think this team team was ever going to do anything against this guy. Um, they were able to set up Toxic Spikes first two turns, so. Yeah, things like um, Ferrothorn and Toxapex, uh, they do kind of wall us, because we rely a lot on the poison damage from Diggersby, this team does. So when we can't do that, it's uh, it's pretty unfortunate. See, this would be, like, if we had Toxic on it, like, it'd be so good right now. We can just keep doing this sub-recycle nonsense. But we can't. We have basically lost. I am going to uh, play this out. We're going to intentionally lose. I don't like forfeiting. Um, so we're just going to let them win. And that is going to be the end of the video. They are going to take us out here. Did NA, I think, dies? Oh no, because he, he got the berry up, didn't he? Did NA is definitely not going to be able to take out the rest of his team there. Even though we can't actually uh, switch into anything now. Vault Switch actually does decent damage, but... We lose. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. There will be more theme teams coming uh, later this week. If you do enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, guys. See you around. Bye.